Have you ever thought about what's in your water? What's in your water? What's in your water? Have you ever wondered what's in the water that you drink, shower, and use every day that's in your house? I did. So I started out by going to www.ewg.org slash tap water. I typed in my zip code and up pops some information about my locality. Here on the right, you can see your location and the availability of data as well as the water that was tested. When we go down just a little bit, we will see the number of contaminants that were uh, identified that exceeded the health guidelines. Uh, please note that this information is only the federal guidelines. This is not anything that says whether it's safe or healthy for you. You also can see that the legal limit of contaminants has not been updated in almost 20 years. But if we keep scrolling, we're going to find the biggest shock of all, which is an actual list of the contaminants that are in my local drinking water or in yours, if you look in your, your zip code. And here we find a bunch of big names that I have no idea what they mean and some numbers that are highly exaggerated compared to what they should be. Things like this bromodichloromethane. I think that's what it says, 118% higher, or 118 times, excuse me, 118 times greater than what is, uh, I guess, a legal limit. 118 seems like a pretty big number. 3.6, yeah, maybe that's passable. 15 times, maybe that's passable. Oh my God, what in the world is this? It's 109, almost 200 times a, a, an allowed amount. Total trihalomethanes. The biggest thing that I noticed on all of these is that they all have a potential effect to cause cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Oh, this is, this is good. This is, this is not good. You can also go back up and to the right a little bit and view the other detected items. And uh, these we, we know are going to be in the water. Uh, things like fluoride and, well, that's the only one that I really expect to be in there, but we've got chromium, vanadium, strontium. Uh, these things sound really like a science experiment to me, and they are in our water. As we know, too, uh, there's just a certain amount of fecal matter that is in the water, which to me just seems disgusting. So I wanted to change things in my household. So after doing fair amounts of research, I did find that this Pelican system, a water filtration system, was the best product for the price. And uh, so I went to pelicanwater.com. Uh, many other people have recommended that you don't go to either Amazon or other retailers like that because they actually increase the price uh, just uh, on their sites by nature. And so I went to pelicanwater.com. Uh, I picked up the one to three bathroom size, the PC600. Went ahead and ordered this thing. It came in in just a few days and let's get to it. So this is where this water filtration is going to live. It's going to be on the wall over here in the corner of the basement. We've got the uh, pre-filter down there, which obviously will be up much higher. But I'm headed to Lowe's to go find out what parts I need to make that stuff happen. All right, let's get this party started. Now that we've pieced together the parts we think we need at Lowe's on the floor, we take this thing home and we set it up in the actual environment with the water filtration system and start to put it together piece by piece. Mm -hmm. 
Next step, find some scrap lumber, screw it to the wall, and make something happen with the correct length and height so that we can mount this pre-filter and get it set up. Later that night, I come back down and I start to piece everything together, dry fitting all of the parts, cutting them to length, and getting everything prepped. All right, so over here, I'm gonna take that shark bite off. I've got a coupler that I can hook up and get down to the three quarter inch pipe at the bottom there. <clears throat> this existing copper line is gonna come out, but what this gives me, if I back it up here, What this gives me is uh, a way to bypass, so I'll, these will typically remain off most of the time because it'll go through the filtration down here at the bottom. But if I need to change the filtration, I've got these shutoffs that I can take the main tank off. So the top ones will remain closed most of the time, but that's a bypass that will connect the main line just like it is right now if needed. These middle ones can be shut off to uh, remove or mess with anything down here at the bottom. And then we've obviously got the shutoffs here on the tank to do that. Up here in the top corner, uh, I've added a shutoff here. This, run, this will run my garden hose on the far side of the house. So that just bumps down to half inch and I'll run that across and tee it in. Not tee it in, but I will connect it in on the other side of the house. All right, guys, so we're out here with this uh, Pelican water filtration system for the whole house. And uh, a few days ago, we went ahead and filled the tank up with water. This is full of carbon, and you do a carbon soak. And so we let that just kind of sit for about three, three and a half days, I guess. And then now it says to flush all the carbon bits out, so we're just gently running water through it. It says to soak it, or run it for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do that. And then uh, once that's done, you run the water back through the other side from the outlet, uh, in the outlet and out the inlet, kind of flip it around, I guess. Do that for a few minutes, that resets the carbon. Then we can take it downstairs. And then over the weekend, I'm gonna work on the installation. And this, I just decided to put a pipe just a piece of PVC pipe that's kind of uh, resting up there just so that the water runs down. I can kind of direct it a little bit. The problem is that where I'm directing it to, it's gonna come right back up towards the house, but that's all right, not a big deal. All 
All right, so check this out. Last night, my son and I stayed up until about midnight and we finished this. We wanted to wait till everybody went to bed before we killed the water into the house. But we've got this all working. So we've got our Pelican uh, water filtration. This is the PC600 or P600, whichever one it is. We've got the uh, the brackets that uh, we, we built just out of some scrap lumber to go ahead and hang this up. And then all of our fittings. So we've got one line that runs straight through so we can disconnect the water filter stuff. Uh, but right now you can see those are turned off and we are filtering the water through. We came over here and connected it up into the existing line to the house. And then the other thing that we did was this other pipe that's up top there that's running here goes to our outside, one of our outside spigots that's on the front of the house. And so that's getting unfiltered water uh, to, to that spigot. And then we've got another one that's over this way uh, where the main comes in, which is a different outside spigot. So all of our outside spigots are getting unfiltered water. The whole house is now getting filtered water. The water tastes delicious and clean. And I'd be lying if I didn't feel like I just mentally am making it taste good because I spent 700 bucks on it. But honestly, after a week and a half now of using uh, this Pelican system, it's amazing. Uh, the, I've never tasted water this clean before, not even out of the little bottles that you buy that are expensive at the store. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I, I'm happy that I made the choice to put it in and, uh, and the family is enjoying it. But that's it for this video. Um, check back because the next one we're back on the truck and I'm stoked to get back on that thing. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later. Peace.